I'm here at the Plastic Surgery Center of Hampton Roads. We're here. They do several different procedures, one of which is breast augmentation. And here to tell us a little bit more about that is Dr. Peter Von Yu. Thank you so much for talking with us. Good to be here. Hey, talk about some of the different type of implants out there that women, are, that women can get. With breast augmentation, there's mainly two types of implants available. One being silicone implant. This is filled with a silicone gel substance. Mm -hmm. uh, the other being a saline filled implant. This is filled with salt water. For reconstructive purposes, we have this implant uh, called the gummy bear implant. It's a style 410 cohesive gel implant. Uh, something nice to talk about, but it's used mainly for reconstruction. What's the recovery time like when someone gets breast augmentation? People can go back to about their normal activities if their activities are not too ambitious within a week. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as going back to the gym and really pumping the iron and working hard, it's about four to six weeks. Is it safe? Breast augmentation is extremely safe. Silicone implants were taken off the market, put in a moratorium in the early uh, 1990s for 15 years for some good hardcore solid research. Mm -hmm. uh, in 2006, the FDA came back and said, you know what, silicone implants are safe and effective, and these fifth generation silicone implants are much better than the ones that were developed in the 60s and 70s. Uh, saline implants have been around since the 60s, they've always been safe. Um, and now we know that the silicone implants are safe. About 80% of my patients choose the silicone over the saline. Um, when someone wants to come get breast augmentation, they're maybe worried about where the incision is going to go. Where will it be? It, it, that's uh, uh, up to the discussion between the physician and the, and the uh, patient. There's basically three options that we use. Mm -hmm. uh, one option, the most common option, is the incision is placed right under the breast in the crease. Uh, second option is an incision placed right at the edge of the areola, which is the pigmented portion of the nipple where it meets the normal skin. Mm -hmm. And the third option is uh, through the uh, uh, axilla or armpit. What do you find the reason why most women want to come in and get breast augmentation done? Uh, there's many reasons why people consider breast augmentation. Number one is self-esteem. Many women have the perception that if they look better, they feel better. Mm -hmm. Another reason is for professional uh, issues. Uh, women who work in the public eye, media people, uh, uh, professional women, uh, dancers, uh, movie stars, uh, models, uh, they may have uh, an edge in the industry, a competitive edge, if they have a better, uh, a better looking body, so to say. Uh, there's cultural reasons. Uh, women of certain, cult uh, certain cultures perceive larger breasts as being more attractive. Uh, there's also clothing issues. Women with very small breasts have trouble f making tops and bottoms match, particularly with bathing suits. Mm -hmm. Then you have the woman who comes in with one breast one size and one breast another size. Breast augmentation allows, that, allows us to make those breasts look alike, sometimes with the help of a tuck in, in the breast or a lift. And then the more, uh, a very popular uh, thing going on now is women who've uh, finished having children and they want to get back to looking the way they used to be. So breast augmentation can do this sometimes in combination with other mommy makeover procedures such as tummy tucks and liposuction. All right, well, lots of good information. Uh, Dr. Vanyu, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. You can find out more about the Plastic Surgery Center of Hampton Roads by logging on to www.pschr.com or you can call them at 873-3500.